Hi guys, so we're currently going to CVS to pick out some mascaras. Hi guys, so I wanted to show you what I got before I started trying it. So I got five different mascaras from CVS. So I'm going to kind of rank them my top five, I guess. And I tried to pick one from each like big brand from like the drugstore makeup world. So the first one I got is the L'Oreal Telescopic, which was $13.49. And then I got the CoverGirl Peacock Flare, which was $12.49. And the Maybelline Volume Express the rocket 9.29 and then the revlon big bad lash which was 9.99 and then this brand i've never heard of before but i wanted to try it it was the essence what the fake volumizing and lengthening mascara which was five dollars so we will see which one works best the first one i'm going to try is the l'oreal telescopic mascara um which said it should like increase the length of your lashes. It's the one with the pretty thin brush. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna curl one of my eyes and kind of compare it to not curling the other um, and see if that makes a big difference and just to see how it comes out. I guess I'll see how that goes and yeah. Let's try it. Right off the bat, it's really like making my eyelashes a lot longer. Okay, so it definitely makes my eyelashes a lot longer. This is like one coat compared to like my other eye and this one's curled so I'm gonna do the other eye now okay so I'm actually pretty impressed I didn't even curl this eye and it's already really long honestly like not a huge difference between curling and not curling okay i really like this one and you don't need a lot either that was just about like two coats for um both eyes so that did not take up a lot of product either which i really like so you'll have it for a long time i would give it probably a nine out of ten right now and yeah we'll see what the other ones have so the next one I'm trying is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to curl one eye and leave the other one. This one had that like weird brush. I don't know. The little spikes are in different places than like it usually is. So let's try it. So this is from one coat it feels like i need like more it definitely made them longer but compared to the telescopic one i just feel like it feels like a little bit like, dry okay so this is just one coat each i don't know it definitely looks better on the curled eyelash okay I don't think it did much. It seems like the type of mascara where you need to like do a bunch of coats to like get really long lashes. Not bad, but not the best I'd say. So I'd give it maybe a four out of 10. That's my rating for now. The next one I'm using the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. It's very spiky. So we'll see how that is. Let's try 
Okay, so it's not doing a lot. You need a couple of coats if you want it to be like super noticeable or different than like your natural lash. But if you want a more natural, I guess, mascara, then this would be good, I think. There's a little difference between curling this one. It's definitely like, this one's up more, this one's not. I don't mind it, but it's very natural looking, which is nice for sometimes, but if you really want longer lashes, I would not recommend. But I would give it maybe a five out of 10. The next one I'm going to use is the Revlon Big Bad Lash. Let's try it. I like the brush. It's really like bigger than the other ones. I'm actually a little impressed. I wasn't expecting a lot from this one, but it's only one coat and it's pretty, it's definitely like makes my lashes look thicker. So that definitely helps with volume length. It didn't make them that much longer, but it's not bad. Again, I don't think curling it really made a difference for this one. They kind of look the same. This is like one coat for each eye. So this is it. I like it. I don't think you need to use like a ton, which is nice. Um, compared to the other one, I know you had to like <clears throat> use more, but I would, I like this one. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. The last one I'm using is Essence um, what the fake volumizing and lengthening mascara that says it has volumizing fibers. So I've never heard of this brand until I saw it, but we're gonna give it a try. It has a kind of thin brush. It's kind of like a brush in between the telescopic and the big bad lash. So let's try. like it it's not like crazy good but it's definitely like it adds volume it does lengthen it does everything it says it's going to do but just doesn't do as good of a job as I'd like it to it's also really clumpy on the brush which I'm not a big fan of I feel like it looks better on this eye um, that wasn't curled. Actually, 7 out of 10, I think. It's not close to an 8, but I think a 7 is good. After trying all five of these, um, my top two are definitely the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash and the L'Oreal Telescopic. Um, the L'Oreal Telescopic is definitely my favorite. I think it does everything it's supposed to do and I like how it looked on myself. I think it was more towards the expensive side out of all of these but I do think it's worth it in the end.